Hi Scorpios, Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading, and this reading is a love reading. It's for February, and this is going to be what are their real desires. Yeah, we're trying to get to the bottom of the situation once again, alright? To find out about your person, um, if your person is like a super great guy, then you, maybe you don't need to watch this reading, right? And uh, yeah, they do exist. Um, yeah, they do. <laughs> but... Uh, these are generals. They may or may not resonate. And also, you guys, uh, these energies could be yours or your person. So let's get one last shuffle in for Scorpio and their person, please. And from the little Lenormans is what I like to call them because they are a little easy to shuffle. This is kind of a nice thing. The man is showing up. The mask, dealing with somebody who is... Uh, Deceptive here, Scorpio. They're wearing two faces. This could be you, possibly. The woman. Oh, no. Oh, heck no here, right? This is like, yeah. This is a deception big time. The polar bear. The storm. And the scythe. Okay. So for me, this could be saying that I feel like there's some type of a third party going on. Even if it is not going on, somebody is thinking about doing it, right? With the mask, for sure. And, um... Especially with the man and the woman over here on each side. This is interesting here, right? Okay. So, the polar bear is here. This talks about somebody who is super powerful. You could be with somebody who is, uh, maybe kind of has, uh, like, a powerful energy, right? And, yeah. And that could be whatever you perceive to be powerful, right? Yeah. And so, the storm is here, uh... And the storm is exactly what it is, right? Somebody is kind of dealing with a rainy day, right? And it could be a rainy month. It could be a rainy time, right? This is a storm. And this can be like uh, clouding your perception as well, like clouding your judgment, right? Something could be doing that. But this is typically somebody is having, going through a storm. Yes, they are with the clouds. But it will pass. That is a good thing. But the scythe is here next to the storm. Wow. I feel like somebody's going to like give somebody a quick cut here. Mm -hmm. Because they could be tired of the storm. They're going to like just give them the axe here. That's really what this card is. Uh, except it is not called an axe. It is called a scythe. I feel like it is, was used on the farm to uh, like get the, get the grain, right? Before it went to the mill. Something like that. I'm not a farmer. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I feel like that's what that is. So let's get right into the reading, and we're going to try to figure this all out. Scorpio, yes, we are. And I'm going to put these cards over here. There could be a woman, maybe, or another person who's in your way here that is super powerful for whatever reason here. It could be causing a storm for you, and you could be cutting somebody out because of it, or they could be giving you the axe because of it, all right? And if somebody has a nicer way to say uh, giving you the axe, you guys can always... Make the comments, okay, because it's kind of how I do it. Let's see what we have for Scorpio, the beautiful, intuitive Scorpio. Ace of Cups in the reverse. Page of Pentacles. High Priestess, there you are. I feel like that is you. Over here, your person is the King of Wands, or they are carrying this energy. Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and the Justice card. So somebody wants some type of a new start here. That is clear. And somebody is trying to figure something out. Somebody's maybe trying to make a decision. They're trying to get some foresight, right? Insight, foresight. Why is that Ace of Cups there, please? Seven of Pentacles. It is typically insight. I mean foresight, but it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. It could be either one, right? Depending how you use it. Four of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. I feel like Scorpio, somebody's holding on to somebody here. Yeah, somebody's holding on to somebody here, and it is putting your Ace of Cups in the reverse. Like, it is putting your union in the reverse. This could be a delay for you, right? Um, it's going to depend here, but this is how this looks with the Mask, the Storm, and the Scythe. These are three really negative cards within six cards. Yeah. Let's see what's crossing you. Why does Scorpio have the Page of Pentacles? Seven of Cups, Hangman. I feel like what's crossing you here or challenging you here is you feel stuck here. Because somebody could be having a new start here or they could be making a choice to have a new start with somebody else. They could also be having a new start with like an option, right? Like a third party option. 
Okay, that sounds like, it, well, I guess it is bad, right? It sounds awful. <laughs> Hi, Priestess. Is why it's, all, uh, why it's all happening for you? This could be you. This could be a secret. It could be a Piscean. Why is that High Priestess there? And this could be somebody using their intuition, kind of acting as the High Priestess. Six of Cups. Six of Wands. I feel like what this is, is that you, whoever you're dealing with has a secret. From, somebody from the past. And Scorpio has been going on for eons. Yes, it has. You could be giving, if you know, if this, I feel like this is the same energy for a long time for some of you guys. You could have gave this person umpteen chances, like, uh, and they are, I feel like they are in this, they, are, they either are the King of Wands or this person that they are dealing with, a secret, is the King of Wands. And the Emperor is what you want. Why does Scorpio want the Emperor? Maybe you want an Aries. This could be Aries. Why does Scorpio want the Emperor? Page of Swords. You're trying to figure out how to take control. That's all you're doing here. King of Cups. This is you. Trying to take control in love and have change. Eight of Wands. You're trying to figure it out. Two of Pentacles. Yeah. And you really want to know something here. Like how to gain control. You really do here. And you could be wanting to know if somebody is like putting their ducks in order. And what I mean by that is putting their, like, getting their life together here to go back to somebody from the past. That, that could be that. I feel like that's what that is. <coughs> I feel like you're trying to figure out here if somebody is like trying to figure it out themselves. Like juggling their thoughts here in order to have change and uh, kind of control their empire, right? Or how to, like, set themselves up, right? Put their ducks in order, arrange their life, however you would like to hear it. Why is that King of Wands there? And this is their energy. Why do they have that? Something they have a disease, huh? Why do they have that? <laughs> okay. Ace of Wands in the reverse. This is your person. Your person could be this King of Wands, or they could be somebody who wants a new beginning with a King of Wands, but they are not having it for some reason. Ace of Wands in the reverse. This could be a third party they're dealing with. Maybe because they are with you, they can't have this. This could be a delay. Ace of Wands in the reverse. Anything in the reverse can be a delay. Mm -hmm. Six of Pentacles is crossing them. Uh, seven, sorry. Why do they have the Seven of Pentacles? And this is them trying to figure out their life over here or their situation. Uh, maybe with this King of Wands or maybe with you. Five of Cups. Wow. Eight of Swords in the reverse. I feel like what your person is thinking, I feel like they're dealing with somebody from the past. They might not even be with that person at all. But they could be thinking about this person from the past here. Mm -hmm. They could be thinking their time's up here. Maybe. Ace of Wands in the reverse, Three of Wands. And what I mean by that is over here crossing them is the Seven of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and the Eight of Swords in the reverse. This is what they're trying to figure out here. I feel like they could be thinking that it's too late. That they could be thinking that this person, like, they could be regretting here. If they're going to end up in regret, if they go towards this person here. Because this person could have released themselves from this. Because this person is from, some, from their past. That they want to move to, I'm pretty sure, here in this reading. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. And they could be feeling like their opportunity is over here. Ace of Wands in the reverse. They could be in this energy that this uh, King of Wands, this could be them, or if it is the person they are dealing with, whoever, they could be feeling like this person here that they, this person you're dealing with could be thinking that somebody has turned their back here and that their oppor turned their back and that their opportunity is over, right? Like there was like a time frame, like, hey, uh, you know, maybe it's been a year now and this person is, maybe they have moved on with their own life.
And this storm could be both of you. You both could be in the storm here. You're, you have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. You could be waiting for your person here to start over with you. It's a possibility, but they're holding on to somebody else. Or they're trying to. And the Ten of Wands is why it's all happening. Why do they have the Ten of Wands? Knight of Wands, Ten of Cups. Yeah, this person, they feel like this person could be like, it's a possibility that this person has left and this person is like, I beg your pardon, this person is like, uh, like your person is, having a, is, is, is carrying a burden here. Yes, they are. Possibly because they were a player in the past with this person and they had a family dynamic with you. That could be the case. Why is the Ten of Cups the root? Why is that there for Scorpio's person? The Fool card. I feel like what this is saying is that your person here, they think like their opportunity is closed over here. That's what they think. Like it's too late. Better way to say it. And now, the root for them is that this is a burden here. Yes. It's a burden for them to, like, take action and move toward this person. Be the fool. Right? And take a leap on this person because they feel like this person could, like, move on here or there's no time left. Something like that. Like, like as I said, it's too late. Because they could be thinking that they're going to regret it, like... Like it's too late. Regret is typically about things being too late. Yeah, it is. Regret is kind of a trip. It has, it has a lot of different meanings depending on the context, depending uh, on the situation, etc. Depending how you are looking at things, your perspective. Let's get a card here on your person for the Ace of Wands. Let's see what else is in their overall energy. Why do they have the Ace of Wands? Scorpio's person here. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Star card. I feel like they have this third party here, or they did, that they want to have this new beginning with. And they could be thinking, too, that the window of opportunity has closed. <laughs> I think they even put that on, like, job, jobs, like, yeah, the window of opportunity is closed now. <laughs> Uh, the, yeah, you have not met the date, but um, I feel like that's what this is. Your person could be feeling that the window of opportunity is closed and they can no longer heal it with this person or that they were like maybe with you, that this person is thinking that they are with you and it's too late, something like that. Wow. And the justice card is what they want. Why would they want the justice card? Seven of swords in the reverse. Wow. I feel like they want to balance it out with this person. But they're, they're not sure what to do here because they have been deceptive in the past. This could be guilt. Seven of Swords in the reverse. They could even feel embarrassed, maybe, with this other person here. Because their desire over here, Scorpio, is about somebody else. It really is. For whoever this resonates, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, I know you're carrying your own burden here about this person for sure. But in their desire position, they could be wanting to balance it out with somebody and they could feel like embarrassed over the situation, maybe because they were married to you. And this person is like, what? I don't, I don't, I don't deal with married people, you ding dong. I feel like your person here, they don't know what to do about a situation, and that's clear here, right? They don't know what to do here. No, they don't. They feel like it's over, it's too late for them and this other person. Mm-hmm. They can be feeling like this person will not take a leap of faith with them. Mm-hmm. Because maybe they have been a burden in the past to this person. I feel like that's part of the dynamic, too. For sure. 
And this is why they are feeling partially that this opportunity could have closed through this window. Why do they want the Two of Swords? Why do they want it? Knight of Pentacles. Here's your Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. I know that you have been dealing with a Virgo, some of you guys, for a long time. Nine of Wands in the reverse. I feel like what they I feel like they want to balance it out with this person, but they're they're not sure if this person is just has given up on them. That's how I'm seeing this reading. And we're gonna go over to Vimeo where the tell all lives. Yes, the tell all does live there on Vimeo Street. And we're gonna find out uh, the underlying energies and what is crowning their thoughts. Because we wanna we wanna know here, right? And also how they feel about you, Scorpio, right? And the situation and the challenge or the block. What they're hiding, what they're fearing, and uh, what they really want over there on uh, Vimeo. And all those extensions are really affordable. Yes, they are. And also, guys, uh, if you need your own reading, that's always the best way, right? But if you got a message here, please give a thumbs up. And thank you so much, Scorpio, for watching my videos.